Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I am playing Starbound. Now, last time you saw me go through that maze of death to try and get the uh, reward at the end, and the reward was a tech blueprint, and we worked out how to uh, actually activate the tech blueprint, that was by going to the ship and uh, uh, locking it in as a tech slot, which is here, and now I was having trouble trying to work out how to do it, and I worked it out, all you have to do is just basically double jump. There you go, I get that little bit of an extra boost. Which is going to be incredibly useful when I'm trying to hop over enemies, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, here's the question. What next? Well, I was talking about building a base, so let's get to it. In fact, actually, no, 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 no. I want to uh, have a quick look on the ship. Said I was quite hungry. Yeah, my hunger bar's going down. I'm going to have to do something about that. Okay, so I've got no fuel, but apparently coal can be used as fuel. But I don't know how much fuel you need. So I'm on this planet. So I can set home, go home. Oh, wow. Really? Is all this open? Is all this open for players right now? Oh my. That's a lot of worlds. <laughs> I find random. I need fuel though. Okay, that is epic. So there's a snow biome there. This is the forest one I'm in. Okay. How much fuel do I need for this? Doesn't say. Fret level 10. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, I probably don't want to go there. Alright, so that's... Badass. <laughs> Objects scanned are destroyed. Scan and print objects. So does this mean I could make an object and it stores it, so if I want another one I just have to use pixels to buy it? That's uh, interesting. Okay, so... What we're going to do is, first of all, I want to see how much room I actually get in this. That's a 16 container, a uh, 16 slot container as well, so the chest isn't actually that great. And I now want to cut down some trees. Oh. My ass kicked here. To probably have a bit of a kip soon. Oh, just aggroed something up above. Oh, Jesus. low on health, where's my bed? Right, I need to heal up, but uh, I think what I'm going to do is go around, gather some materials and build like a little wooden house. Keep it simple starting off. Then once I find like a good planet to stay on, I want to build like a big underground complex. But uh, yeah, for now this should do. Alright, so it appears that I am quite hungry. I think I've got some meat, so I'm going to go ahead and just cook this and then eat it. I do have a bunch of cooked meat already, so... I didn't even fill my bar. I don't think I even 
affected my bar. What's going on? I've got cooked meat here. Well, there we go. It actually worked once I had the bar up. That's odd. Let's move that back into my inventory so I don't accidentally use it. Now, I've got some iron ore here. I'm going to go ahead and get that smelted. I believe I was wondering what to build next, so... Grab all my iron bars. Right, what's the uh, the mission here? I got to craft a distress beacon. Okay, so that can sort of wait though. So what can I build? A metal workstation is what I need for. No, I need an iron anvil. All right, let's craft that. Let's drop this bad boy down. So here we go, I can make spears, I can make swords. I definitely need the new sword though. But everything requires... Ooh, pickaxes, that's going to be useful for mining. What do I need for a bug standard pickaxe? Ooh, scavenger, scavenger armor. Okay, so I need a lot of stuff here. A lot of pixels, so I'm going to have to go earn some. Diamond pickaxe. Ah, oh dear. Iron hunting bow. That might be a good upgrade. I wonder if I can build me a... I believe one of the options is an iron bed. I can only assume it will heal you quicker, like, but I'm not entirely sure. But I wonder if I can make a wooden stone stone axe. Wood planks and cobblestone. That's gonna be a good investment actually. Let me see if I've got any cobble. So a stone pickaxe and a stone axe, that way we can start, you know, just tearing for everything that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of gathering and see how much I get per... Can I just do, like, all of it in one go? Yes, I can. Very nice. I haven't done this very efficiently, as you can see, but it's good to know that you can just uh, do it in big chunks. Definitely the quickest way. I wonder how quick the uh, pickaxe is, though. Like our torches can just be placed in like the background as long as there's something there. That is quite nice. All right, first things first, we want a stone pickaxe, and then let's get this going. If this has durability, oh wow, look at the size of that. Oh yeah, we're mining now, and yes, it does have a durability meter. You can see it up here. Pickaxes are so last millennia. Oh, game. Ah, oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so. Wow, we've got lightning going on in the background. One thing you have to be careful of in this game is, uh. If. You leave an item on the ground too long, it'll just vanish. Now, that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it really is a short time. <laughs> a 
helicopter and Max. Chop, 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 chop. Alright, let's test this out. I wonder if I can replant trees, that would be nice. Nice. Very noisy. Whoa! Not so nice. Uh, I just suck at melee fighting. Double jump helps, definitely. Oh yeah, so much easier now. Okay, so I don't want the items falling, you know, away from me, so I'm gonna have to go here. But yeah, I wonder if I can replant trees. I know that I've got some seeds for other stuff, but... I don't know if you've noticed, but the stone axe doesn't have any durability. I wonder if that's intended, or if that's just the way it is at the moment, or if it's going to be changed, or what, but if this is the case for all axes, then upgrading, you know, using your best materials like iron and all that, or silver, or whatever you get to get like a better axe is definitely... Uh, a worthy upgrade. Why is that lit up down there? Have I been this way? I think I've been this way. I can't see what's down here, but one thing you can do is if you go to the options, you can change your zoom level. Yeah, I've been down there with Torch. It makes my character a lot smaller. It's kind of hard to see. I have a hard enough time as it is. But, uh... Yeah, you can even go out even further. Let me show you. So this is like the furthest level, I guess. No, I'm pretty sure it goes further, it just does not let me. And you can zoom right in as well. I'll leave it at default though. One thing I just noticed is that the planet in the background is uh, aligned with another small planet. And that's exactly how it looked on the uh, the map on your ship. Which is kind of cool. I wonder how late I can pop this. Pretty late. I wonder if you can use it to break your fall. That would be extremely useful thinking about it. So I've uh, collected a bunch of wood. I'm going to collect some. Just see where this goes. I'm going to get rushed by creatures. Okay, first things first. Oh no, I don't want to get rid of that because I won't be able to get back up. So let's have a look. What can I make? So, we've got dirt, you know, we've got like different blocks for building. We've got wooden platforms and planks and yarn spinners, die, wooden support. Hmm, decorative. Windows, doors, crates. A wooden fence, iron lantern. Okay, so there isn't really that. We don't really have that many schematics at the moment, so it's hard to tell what I can actually make. But we've got a lot of wood, so I guess wooden planks would be great for. Let's craft a whole bunch of wooden planks then. I wish it was it. Oh, I can just type it in there how many I want. So I've got 75 wooden planks, let's uh, put them to good use. Alright, 
so it won't build there if I'm in the way. Oh, right, that puts in the foreground. Ah, bugger, okay, so I've screwed this up pretty badly already. Can my axe destroy that? Hmm, doesn't seem to do anything. I definitely hope I can upgrade my matter man manipulator. It's definitely kind of slow. I wasn't really looking to... Okay, so I can fill that in, that's good to know. So if I'm not careful, I could basically come out one block and plop it down there, and uh, it's kind of a waste of wood, so... We want to make sure we... Damn it, did it again. I don't have to be right on top of it, I keep forgetting that. So this isn't going to look very nice to begin with, but we'll, we'll get better. Actually, I don't need to do it this... Uh... I probably need to get rid of half that stuff I've just placed. I'll show you what I'm trying to do here soon. First things first, I need a door. What's the difference between a gate and a door? I guess the gate's for outside. I'll make a door. I know what I'm getting into if I place a door. <laughs> things in the air. Hmm. Can't be placed. I wonder if it's because... placed. Does it need something above it as well? Okay, so... Yep, yep, that was it. So, there we go. Just to get a door down here. And what I really needed was platforms here, but what I can always do is... Get rid of all this. We'll make ourselves some... Wooden platforms and stairs. I'll have a crafting room somewhere. Honestly, I don't know how many pieces of wood I have, so I'm just gonna... Oh, big cre oh, those creatures down there are peaceful, as far as I can tell. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Alright, here we 
go. So it's this thing that you can... I probably made it a bit too low looking at it because i got to do a double jump to get up. That's not good. But the right height would have been here. Hmm. Then again, I could always make stairs. pick up yellow petal. Oh, I guess I can get petals from plants. Good to know, good to know. So what, oh, wooden blinds. What are they? Windows? Okay. So I'm just going to make a really basic uh, wooden shelter. That's what I'm sort of aiming for. Trying to get a, just trying to get a grip to what I can actually build here. actually have a ton of wood. So that's good, there's a lot more building I can do here. Now I believe I can do stairs as well. Like that, which is perfect. There we go, so... That's not too bad. And what I could always do, because I believe there was something about wooden supports. I want to make a few of those and see what they look like. I wonder if you can walk through them or not. so they're solid. So yeah, I don't know if I... The wooden supports are just going to get in my way if I, do, if I do what the idea I was just thinking of. So we'll pass on that, but I can continue to sort of build my house. I'm not entirely sure how far to go with this. Let's see. So we go to... Run that to go out by two, so... Alright, now I can start going down. Wait, that can't be right. So it's actually free. Oh, what happened? Okay, so I ran out of wood, and I'm basically gonna just do uh, probably a little build down here. This could be my mine. Start collecting resources, get a storage room somewhere, and. Let's just see what the reaction is to the animal that flies by here. I say animal, it could be a bird, but I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. What's it fighting? Was that attacking me? My combat music's playing up, or is it them two birds going at it? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and make sure you join me next time. Goodbye.